Here we go. How's that? Looking good? Are we saying ready, set, go? Hi, I'm Brooke Hansen, Olympic champion in swimming. Uh, have our gold and silver Olympic medals. We're an active family. Um, we've got Cooper who's nine, Billy's five and Matilda is three. We're swimmers but we're also surfers so you'll find us camping anywhere where there's a surf. Um, hopefully there's um, a good break and uh, we can find some waves to catch. My favourites would be Crescent Head on New South Wales north coast. Also love Yamba. My earliest camping memory is camping with my grandparents, Fred and Dorothy Hansen. They had a caravan, which we all thought was just the, the bee's knees. They'd actually hook that caravan up and they would follow me to all of the swimming championships all around the country. Uh, they actually followed me to the national championships in Adelaide in 1992 and I got to stay in camp with them for a week after, which was really nice. The funny memories that I have with camping is what we call it the storms of, of 2017. All night you could just hear everyone up um, with the hammer and, and the peg going ding, 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 trying to save our tent, trying to save um, the camper trailer as well. And uh, to wake up the next morning and know we, had, we hadn't really slept. I think I spent the whole night with my, my arms above, um, must have been one of the tents that was holding up the camper trailer one um, I've ended up I think almost doing push-ups with my hands like for the like press-ups for the whole night so just press-ups all night to try and get all the water that was pooling away from the tent and away from the kids uh, we end up having to dig a trench around the, the whole entire tent uh, we had a few kids that were wet the next morning but we saved the tent we saved the camper trailer yeah my husband and I have been together for gosh, 22 years now, and we always loved camping just to, to get away. We both swam and the pressure of being a lead athlete, it's pretty tough, but we just pack up the tent and, and go. And we found that times in our lives where we've really struggled, and one time was when we did lose our second son, baby Jack. After living in the Neo intensive care unit for nine months, as Jack fought for life. Um, unfortunately, we held him for his last breath. And when you hold someone for their last breath, you think, wow, you know, life's too short. You don't know when your last day is gonna be. And we just looked at each other and we went, do you know what, we need to, we need to get away. We need to, to go off road. We need to disappear for a while. We packed up and we took our eldest Cooper and the three of us went camping. We'd go, there'd be no phone service that would just be, it would just be us three. And we'd go to different parks along the way. We end up doing a six week road trip just to really find ourselves and just have time out. It was just such a wonderful time for me to reflect on Jack's journey and then also bring um, just so much awareness to how I wanted to, to live the rest of my life. Camping during that time of distress and grief and just, you know, a difficult time for me personally and in our relationship, it just brought so much um, peace and quiet to, to our minds and our souls. And the people that you meet at the caravan park, they don't know what you've just been through. They're, they're just there to, you know, to put a smile on your face and tell you that, that you know, the fish are biting or that the waves are on. And that time in our life made us realise how important camping is to us and how we wanted to make sure that whatever we did for the future, that our kids and us would be, would be camping uh, for, yeah, forever. I've been fortunate enough to have two more kids. We go away camping and we, we light a candle every night and, and we say that, that candle's for baby Jack and the kids look up to the, to the stars before hopping into the tent and, and they find the brightest star and the brightest star in the sky is baby Jack. I think what I love about camping the most is that if you allow yourself to just completely disconnect with the craziness and the busyness of of everyday life, 
what camping can bring is just, yes, serenity and, and peace and relaxation. So for me as a mum, I get the entire family to disconnect and we like to call it our disconnect to reconnect trips away where we can uh, get off social media, get off our iPads, no television, and we pack the tent and our sleeping bags and some old board games, some cards, some you know, and we just go away and just connect as a family. So for me, I do find it relaxing and peaceful and oh, it's an adventure. It's exciting for the kids and, and really exciting for me as a mum, just to see them really enjoying uh, what I love, which is, which is camping. And I'm really happy that my husband loves it as much as me.